one and I welcome you this day to the Stay Connected series. This morning I pray to God that He keep you and He bless you. Amen. I'm going to start by reading a scripture which is, is found in uh, the book of Ephesians 4, 31 and 33 and 32. It says like this, Little bitterness, grab, anger, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. 32. And be kind to one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one to another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. As as I was thinking the other day, what can I share for this for this day? Um I was watching the other day I was watching a, a Christian concert with this very famous singer, which is his name is Jesus Adrian. And uh, what amazed me, what amazed me is that he starts he start telling his testimony about how he came to the Lord. He 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 has another nine brothers, total of ten, and uh, he he shared that they never knew that her mom had cancer, cause you know they didn't want to tell the you know, the bread, the, the family, so they don't have to worry about it. But she noticed that her mom was very skinny and skinny every day. So one day, somebody was knocking at the door and she answered. And it was this uh, pastor that he, he opened a new church around the, around the corner. So she went and started notifying the people if she, they want to join the church. So right away, she said yes, and uh, he shared she he he shared that like uh, like in three to four months, the Lord had healed her from cancer. It was a miracle miracle that the Lord has made in her life. So because of that, she started serving the Lord, and also all the brothers they started serving the Lord. He say that um, every, every of his brothers are involved in a minister. So that's all it took, you know, because one, one man start, you know, start doing what the Lord has told us, go all around the world and preach the gospel. And thanks to him, you know, the whole family came to know Jesus. What a wonderful Lord that we serve. He's so compassionate and have mercy on us. Amen. This is what I, what I have learned in this testimony is very short, but what, what I have learned is this. A few things that I, the Lord put you in my mind. First of all, for this woman, you know, it has to be a conversion. God God is in control of everything is happening around us. Sometimes we ask God to answer our petitions and prayers as soon as possible. Let's remember that everything worries you and worries me. God already have it under control. All we have to do is just keep pressing, keep trusting in Him. Let's look at uh, 1 Timothy 4, 5, and 6. Thank you, Jesus. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayers. There it is. When we pray, you know, the Lord answer. At this time, the Bible says, you know, that He keeps our, our, our tears in a safe place. You know, that's it's, it's what amazes me. It means for me that he never forget of our needs, the one we pray for it. That that you know, like for example for this woman, you know, she she didn't have a relationship with God because she didn't know him. But the day she started knowing him, you know, he he she knew that she needs Jesus in her heart. 
And by doing that, you know, the Lord had heard her prayers. That's why he healed her from the cancer. Number six, if you instruct the brethren in this thing, you will be a good minister of, of Jesus Christ, nourished in the words of faith and in the good doctrine which you have carefully followed. Amen. The other thing says, and uh, the other thing that I, I, I noticed uh, on this one, on this testimony, is, is like this woman with cancer. She believes and she put her faith and trust in God. She, when she started going to church, whatever months, you know, time she went, she feels, you know, that she, she, she feels in her heart that Jesus, Jesus can heal her of this disease. Amen. Because we know, you know, and, and it's hard sometimes we go to uh, situations, we have troubles, we have tribulations, there's a lot of turmoil in your house, all around us. You know, we cry out to God and we expect him, you know, please Lord, do it right now. I need it. And yes, but you know what? The Lord, the Lord knows the right time and the day that we need a miracle in our life. She know, he knows that we are suffering. He knows everything about our life because he created us. As I remember when he was dying, praying on the cross, when there were him and two tips, one on the right and one on the left. And what amazes me of one of them, she, he repents right there. I say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive all my sins. Let me be with you. Take me with you, he was saying, because he believes in him. So the Lord, he, he, he had mercy on him and because he repents right there on the cross where he was dying. You know, he went into heaven with him. That's why we, we love the Lord because, you know, he had compassion and he knew, he knows everything about us. One more thing that I have learned on, the, on this testimony is we have to be ready to receive his blessing. Amen? And it's true. It means that, you know, we, we need to glorify. Once we receive the blessing, you know, we have to tell others, like the Bible says, you know, we, we need to share our testimony, what the Lord has made in our life, in my life. In that way, you know, people can see, you know, what a wonderful God that we serve. Amen? <clears throat> Since that day, you know, she started knowing Jesus, and she started loving Jesus more than ever. <clears throat> she knew that nothing is impossible for him. Amen? Let's read First Timothy 4, 14 and 16. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 14 and 16 says like this, Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by the prophecy, with the laying on the hands of the elders, eldership, Meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that you promise may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine continuing them for, the, for doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Amen? As we hear, you know, that's our... We have to keep telling people, especially around these dark times, that the, 
we serve a mighty and a merciful God. Amen, brothers. Hallelujah. I just want to thank you and I pray that the Lord bless you day and we'll see you soon. Amen. Amen.